Hey everyone, it's on the Steve on Plot 42. Just a quick B reveal. Look at this Santa Conservatory. And this is my first brew in the bag. Brew. It's the Yorkshire Bitter. I first tasted one well, in, in the last year from Aunt Rogerson. And it was really, really nice. I've sent it in it's out. And it's Yorkshire Bitter. Out of the Bible. <coughs> I've done it myself. It's only in a half batch. It's a, you want to mix and match, but it was my first try trying to get the right grains together, the right malts together, whatever, trying to get them right. And I think I did all right. It was a long day doing it. I thought, oh, a long day. I think it was about three, four hours maybe. But if the end result is good, I'll be happy. So we'll give this baby a, a pour. No, it's not much head space there. So I did pretty good on there. I'm not, not tight all the time. It's, I made this way. It was bottled on the 7th of February. So it's been in the bottle 20 days. Which ain't too bad. So in the Bible, it says it's supposed to be 3.8%. Mine came out 4%. So, no, so the, the bitterness is going to be different. The colour's going to be different. Because it's a boil in the bag, brew in the bag. It's the first time I've done it. So, crack this baby open and what's it like? It's like I say, I'm not very good at reviewing, but. Bit of a hiss. I took it out of the fridge probably about half an hour ago. Standard glass, non nucleated. Nucleated, look like a bloody wear down. Right. So it's only a bit of size, not supposed to be real carbonated anyway. I mean, it's looking good. I bought it, strip it all in. And there goes a picture of the ceiling. Right. It's, only, it's only a small head, but it's, uh, I'm not bothered about that. If you can see, it's bright in here. It's nice. Open colour, a little bit of carbonation, but it's it's quite clear. You see, I'll have to look back look look back at the videos what I did and what I did of his. See, it looks different. Anyway, it's not always the look; it's the taste and the smell. I'm trying to probably could pick up the. Challenger hops. Hmm. Well, these can. Well, I picked up one of the hops anyway. Still learning. I think much of a. I can smell the hop. I can smell some of it, but I don't think it's the molds because I knew I didn't use a lot. Well, it was crystal malt, torrified wheat, and chocolate malt. But anyway, that bollocks of bollocks to smell. Anyway, let's go for the taste. Cheers. Fucking hell. That's real nice. I know it's not much of a head on it. I say it's, it's still only young, it's only 20 days. I mean, going from doing the kit beers to do a few extract brews, and this one, the um, brew in the bag, you can tell the difference completely. I mean, the kit beers, I don't like some of the kit beers, don't get me wrong, I don't like them. The extracts, I like the extracts a lot. And this brew in the bag method, you can tell the difference in taste completely. It is one, one cracking beer. I'm just. A bit myth that I can't really tell the difference between all the malts and the grains and the hops. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to do some smash beaters and try and get my head around what the hops taste like. But this is one cracking beer. I think it's on par with one of the trailer about Rogerson's bit of it he sent me. It 
Okay, some of the kits that you get, I know people say you get that kit taste in your mouth. This is completely, it is a different world. This brew in the bag and all grain. I know it's like, it's not an all grain, but like the way you guys are with your three vessels. I'll tell you, it, that is what one cracking beer. I'm glad I did it. It's just a shame I didn't have a bigger pot. I've got, I've rolled another pot to do maybe some small batches, put them together. I'll try and get a bigger one. But I'm doing it. Hey, thanks for that. Thanks, thanks for that. Frank, it's for that, I said, my way. But um, I want to try using the software to get the, the best out of it. But I can't get me around it for some reason. But I'm doing it by the book, but in any, any recipes that I find online and adjusting it to, to, my, to my taste and style. Excuse me. But I tell you, that is one cracking beer. So it's a shame it's like, it takes like three hours to do. What did I get out of it? I got nine and a half litres out of the batch that I did. And that was, I say here, three hours, four hours. Even if, I've seen some one, one gallon batches to try and get my taste buds right, but that's still going to take the same amount of time. So it doesn't matter if it was one gallon, two gallon, four gallons, it's still going to be three, four hours. I just need to get some recipes done. So I can get them done. But I am really happy with that brew. Like I said, you can have to taste the difference. I really, really am chuffed with that. It's just a shame I've got probably about 20 bottles out of it. They won't last long at all. But it won't last this week. I say I'm, I'm on a I'm a holiday this week. So the first day of my holidays, and there's my beef fridge behind me. What I stick my bees in? They'll probably be gone this week. All that work to be gone in a few days. But sorry about that. My camera stopped. But the yeah, memory was full. But like I said, this is one cracking beer. I am going to do some more. Uh, I haven't decided which ones I want to do. I've seen some recipes that I want to, I want to do. I'm just uh, waiting for that other pot. But I can't believe, like I said, the difference in, in taste between this brew in the bag, extract brew, and the kit brew. I'm just looking at it. I'm mesmerised with it. It's absolutely brilliant. I've waffled on too much. Thanks for everybody for watching. If you haven't done it, you want to try this brew in the bag or all grain. Oh, it's brilliant. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much.